another beautiful day out today and we're going to grill some chicken but um it's not going to be so much about what we're grilling so much as um my grill the ash pan in the bottom of my grill it's all rusted out and it's got holes in it and it's falling apart and stuff so i was thinking about finding something to replace that and the other day as we were hiking in the woods we saw this off the side of the trail back in the woods looks like it had been laying there for a while i took and i hosed it off real quick because you know this is going to be my new ash pan um, my wife says it's a broiling pan i'm like no, whatever it's going to be my ash pan got this little cover on her. I figure I'll put the charcoals on here and put this on top of this. That'll keep the charcoals from being directly against the bottom of my grill which should extend the life of it. That's the thing. It's a good old grill. It's ugly and it's funky and but it's in great shape. You know it's not falling apart. Doesn't have big holes in the bottom of it. It's not rusted through. So I figure I'll just keep using the grill I have and the one I'm used to, the one I'm accustomed to, instead of getting a new grill. I'm just we're thinking about fixing it up, stripping the paint off of it. We got some. Oh, I got it in the house, but it's some uh, black grill paint that we're going to use on it to uh, make it look better, or to try to make it look better. Just got to get some weather where it's not grilling weather. That's kind of hard to do. Okay, today I've got a Cigars, let's see, a Cigars International Legends Copper Label since 67, Series 6771. That's what I'm going to try today. And, uh, hmm. That tastes sweetened. I want to wet it first, spit on it a little bit because I don't want the cap to crack. I've had some cigars do that. This one has a very good looking double cap on it. Shouldn't be a problem. But I've had some cigars that shouldn't be a problem and ended up cracking the caps. Yeah, that's fine. That cut just fine loose bits off of it. Just light the sucker up and see what we got. Oh and today instead of the usual beer I got a mug of root beer. Because I found actually root beer goes with cigars a lot of times. works for me it doesn't have to be an alcoholic drink to enjoy it you know I do like beer but I like root beer too I'm not a big fan of sodas that's the thing so I don't drink a lot of them but sometimes I'll have a root beer with a cigar Like I was saying, it's another beautiful day today. Sunny, temperatures in the low 80s. Just beautiful out. That's got it. That is definitely a sweetened tip because right now all I'm getting out of it is, is sugar. I'm hoping that fades. That's that's just that's too much. I mean, um, that's sweeter than a Swisher Swisher sweet. That other than that, that is a smooth tobacco kind of mild that's probably why they sweeten the tip very mild because yeah well all I'm getting right now is the sugar
really mellow retro hail on it too. Well, we'll keep going with this one and we'll see where it goes. Right now, I'm going to go work on my grill, get the charcoal ready, get it ready to light, put this pan in it, and we'll see you out there. This is what I was talking about. It's got holes in it. Things all rusted through. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try that. Got my grill clean up. Well, as clean as I clean out my grill, anyway. I don't get overly anal about it. If it fits just right, right in the bottom there. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my little mound of uh, birch bark in here. Put a little bit more charcoal in there. And uh, we're going to light it up and see how this thing works. Hmm, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Yeah, you, know, you got the vents and all that. That lines up right, right nice with it. All right, let's fire it up and try it. Okay, I got the birch bark going. Got some extra charcoal in here. Don't need a lot because I'm not cooking a lot today. And uh, away we go. Yeah, I'll be back in a little bit after this uh, this charcoal gets ready. Well, while the uh, charcoal is lighting, I'm going to sit here and smoke my cigar. But um, this cigar has two things that I'm not too fond of. It's very mild. I always like my cigars to have some body to them. But it's like, while I can tell that there's smoke in my mouth, I'm not getting much out of it. There's not much taste to it. There's not much flavor. But what little flavor it does have is being overpowered by that daggone sweetened tip, which is another thing I don't like. I don't like um, artificially flavored cigars, be it a sweetened tip or some kind of a flavor infused cigar. I'm not too fond of that. It's just a hint of some, uh, I guess, I guess a little bit of cinnamon on the retro hell, but that's it. It's been burning pretty good, and lots of smoke output. It's been burning pretty fast too. It's kind of like a, a cheap cigar with a sweetened tip. The draw is good, but let me smoke this thing down a little bit, see where we get to it, and uh, let's see where we get with that uh, charcoal over there. It's still smoking, so it's right, doing well. Something. Now the grill's ready, and I've got the oof, a lot of smoke, and I've got the chicken cooking. It seems to be working pretty good so far. What I'm thinking of doing is uh, after the chicken's done, I'm just going to open all the vents and let, it, let all the ashes burn. Usually I'll cool, I'll, I'll close all the vents and let it cool. But uh, this time I think I'm just going to burn it, like burn it all the way through. Anyway, like I said, it wasn't about what I was cooking so much as the grill. And we'll see how it works out. Actually, I don't see any reason why it won't work out just fine. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and cook this chicken. And we got chicken Caesar salads we're going to put it on. And we'll see you all next time.